Hi guys. It's my first vlog ever. I'm quite nervous doing this somehow. It's a bit weird that I'm just talking into the camera, but I guess you're there on the other side, so it won't be so weird. Um, I'm gonna dedicate this first vlog ever to you guys. Um, I posted up questions, or I said that you guys could post up any questions on Facebook and I'd answer it. So I'm gonna try and do as much as I can today. Don't be mad if I don't pick your question. Oh, the first one's very interesting. From Faris Nordin, it says, Hi Reem, we know you live and breathe Liverpool, so my question is, do you mind dating a Man United fan? Hmm, well, actually, my last relationship was a United fan. He was hardcore United and I was hardcore Liverpool, and it was actually really fun. It made for like really, really fun date nights, and yeah, I would, I would date a United fan, I don't mind, as long as he doesn't mind dating a Liverpool fan. Next one, Saddam Puzi. Why are you so beautiful? Aww. Um, because my mommy is beautiful. And yeah, thanks to my mom and my daddy for everything they've given me, I guess. Okay, next one. Next one comes from Kabot Bakui. What kind of music do you listen to, Reem? Um, right now, I listen to a lot of like Florence and the Machine and um, like Angus and Julia. I like that song, Big Jet Plane. And my ringtone for my phone is um, that song by Peter Bjorn. Something about the young kids or something young folks or something like that, I don't remember. But oh, I've been listening to J-Lo as well because she was just in town like two weeks ago and I'm still having like withdrawal symptoms from her concert, which was like great. Um, it was awesome, it was raining and all that, but like, you know, we, we had our raincoats, raincoats on and we were in our sandals like all in the mud because we got the seats like um, on the grass. Although they did cover it up though, but yeah. But you know, for J-Lo, it's worth it. Next one, next one. Hmm, I think I'm gonna skip this one. I don't know how to answer it, honestly. But um, Muhammad Hisham Abu Bakar, yeah. I don't know how to answer your question. Maybe you can private message me, yeah? Ha, ah. ooh, this is an interesting one. From Sahrul Izham, it says here, how much hantaran do you want? I want to start saving. Hmm, I don't know about you, Sahrul Izam, but love doesn't cost a thing. That's what JLo said. And I truly believe in that. So if a girl loves you truly, then it doesn't matter how much hantaran you give or don't give at all, as long as your heart, unless you give your full heart to her. And don't cheat, okay? Because men today, once they step out of the house, you never know what they, they get up to. Oh, hmm. I don't want to answer that one. <laughs> ah, it says here Pengung, Penunggu Gua Modern. Do you like badminton? Yes, I like badminton, but I cannot play very well. I like watching Chong Wing though. It's good. Next one. Uh, Said Bajo Isham. Since when do you support Liverpool? Um, you know what, Said Bajo Isham? I'm going to take this opportunity to tell you to go check out my blog, which is www.thecopsalad.com because over there in my about section, I actually stated um, exactly how I started, um, oh, how and why I started supporting Liverpool. I think it was back in 1990s when I first um, went to Anfield and yeah but also because my mom mostly it's because of my mom but yeah you can read the full story and the background of why I support Liverpool on the blog as well okay next one next one huh Razi Kamat if I'm lucky, I get to see you in Air Asia office. My question is, would you have lunch with me at the lounge? Oh my God, are you an all-star too? I love being an all-star. We love our Tony Fernandez, don't we? 
Were you at the um, dinner thing that we just had, the 11th year birthday thing at Sunway Lagoon? That was really fun, the Mardi Gras theme. Um, yeah, sure, drop me a note or drop me an email on, um, or oh, see me, oh, see me, okay? And we'll have a drink at the lounge. On you, okay? Must be on you, or else I'm not coming. Okay, William Koo, what happened to Sports Center Bahasa Malaysia that disappeared? Really sad, right? I miss that show. Hmm, don't know if I can reveal exactly what happened. But let's just say that it's in a good place. Or that one year that we were on air, it was really fun. And um, Lisa is now um, in the breakfast show, I think. And Luke is also doing a breakfast show on TV9, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, but we, we still keep in touch and they're doing great. But yeah, I miss that too. That's where I started out. So yeah, good memories. Huh, Azri Ace Abdullah, when was the last time you hang out, hung out at Davies Heart of Us? Did you used to see me there? I used to always be there because my ex at that point liked to smoke shisha at Davies Corner at Hatamas. How come you never said hi to me? Oh, because I probably, you probably didn't know me then, right? <laughs> I was, but I already started on Sports Center Bahasa Malaysia, I think, at that point. But um, I think the last time I was there was, hmm, I don't remember, uh, probably last, Year. Early, early this year, yeah, maybe January or something, but I haven't been there since. Do you hang out there a lot? That's a really cool spot, but I don't go there anymore. <sighs> oh, this is from Daryl. Daryl came on our show before. Chelsea fan. Where are you born? I was born in KL Panta Hospital. guys my battery ran out it's answering like too many questions already so I'm gonna keep it short I've got like four more left um, okay Iqbal Kadar Kadri asked me who is your celebrity crush right now celebrity crush right now um, can I say I've had the hugest crush 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 on Kate Beckinsale I know she's a girl but like you know she's hot right and if it's a guy, Leonardo DiCaprio. He picks like really good roles. I think, I think I like his characters that he plays more than him himself. But yeah, Leonardo DiCaprio. Next one. Where did you get your education from kindergarten until university level? From Astro Izani. Um, from kindergarten, I went to... Actually, I've been in one school all my life, from kindergarten all the way until um, Form 5. I was in Safe All, that's on Jalan Ampang. And then after that, I went to Lim Kok Wing for a year to do my foundation. Um, and then I went to KDU, and then I went to Perth. So I did like a twinning program with KDU to Murdoch University and I did broadcast journalism and PR. <laughs> yeah, awesome, awesome course. Um, Tim Dalkin asks, can you cook? I can bake, if that counts. Um, I can bake, yeah, because you know, baking is like more precise. You pick, like they, they tell you exactly like 30 ml of milk and two cups of sugar or whatever. It's so specific, you can't get it wrong. Like with cooking, it's mostly like with instinct and you know, all that nonsense. So, and, and you know, you get oily and you have to chop things and it's just very tedious. So, no, I'd rather go out and eat and pay someone else to cook my food. <laughs> Last one, oops. Let's see, um, Ashwani Chandra. If you weren't a Liverpool fan, what team would you support? Um, in the BPL, I guess I would support um, Arsenal. That's always been my second favorite team. But you know what they say about Arsenal. Arsenal's like everyone's second favorite team, just because they're very neutral, right? In a, in, like, to an extent, they're very neutral because they're neither 
that great, nor are they that bad, and they've got nice players. And I think I supported them before because um, I liked Fabregas um, and Van Persie. Both are gone now. But I still think Wenger is doing an okay job. But I still hope Liverpool beats them eventually. Um, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's the end of my vlog. I hope you guys enjoy, enjoyed it. Um, hopefully, there will be a second one soon. <laughs> Fingers crossed if everything goes well. And um, see you then. Bye.